It's like gnomes. One gnome is a little disturbing, but when you get multiple gnomes, that's when stuff gets a little bit freakier. <laughs> They're all just like, oh. <laughs> oh. How freaky is that, right? We're gonna be showing you some amazing magic here tonight. Uh, we got a T-Rex illusion for you. The professor is going to mystify you. The legendary professor, Di Vernon, the greatest magician, uh, sleight of hand magician who ever lived. He is the inventor of most sleight of hand that is done by magicians today. And I'll be doing a card trick for you guys at home that you can actually take part in. Uh, to do that, you're going to need a deck of cards. You'll need nine playing cards. Uh, any playing cards will do. However, uh, you can't have the jokers. That's the only thing that you can't have here. Uh, any nine cards, it doesn't have to be a full deck. Uh, you pull those out and we'll be doing that at the end of this segment here. So get this is a good chance right now, like this video, share it out, invite a friend to do this with you so that when you do this and it happens for you at home, I want you to know that it wasn't just you. It didn't just work for you, that your friend also had the same experience. And it's based on the principle of the Cratulus from Plato's book, Cratulus, which is the philosophical principle that names actually have power and meaning in them beyond just what we describe to them. There's actually a deep principle and meaning to it. So if you want to take part in that in just a bit, you'll need nine playing cards. So this is a beautiful illusion. I want to recreate this myself, but I want to do it with an owl. Um, I think it would be really awesome. Um, I'm, it's based off of the illusion that's actually in Disneyland's a Haunted Mansion, but they did it with a T-Rex. It's very beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> Is he creepy, isn't he? Jeez. It's so good. It's so well done. And it gets more intense. It, it gets weird. It's like gnomes. One gnome is a little disturbing, but when you get multiple gnomes, that's when stuff gets a little bit freakier. <laughs> They're all just like, oh. <laughs> Oh, how freaky is that, right? Wow. Absolutely disturbing. And so that is the T-Rex illusion, my friends. Let's see if they do it. Oh, oh big jumbo T-Rex. Check this out. Woo! How cool is that if we had a giant owl in our living room over in the corner and every time you walked, it just followed you around with its head? How cool would that be? Come on, we gotta build it. Should we build one? What do you guys think? This is Di Vernon. Di Vernon is known for being one of the greatest magicians of all time. This man is the reason that most magicians are able to do what they do today. He invented the slights that they invented. Now, the man in front of you right now is named Mark Wilson. He actually wrote a really, really great book on magic. If you're interested in learning how to do magic tricks and illusions, it's called The Complete Course to Magic by Mark Wilson. Actually, what is that? Mark Wilson's uh, Magic, The Complete Course in Magic. Uh, Mark Wilson, The Complete Course in Magic. Great book uh, that'll teach you all that you need to know to start doing magic. Even to, I'd say you could probably take it to a professional level with just that book alone. Um, probably not going to be doing big league shows, but you definitely are going to be able to do like party shows, birthday party shows, that kind of thing. And so that's Mark Wilson. Mark Wilson is introducing Di Vernon because Di Vernon's that good. He's going to be performing a classic of magic called the Cups and Balls. This is considered to be one of the oldest magic tricks in the world. Note that he's fully surrounded here. He's 78 in this video, boys and girls. Rapid rate of 
of speed. Now, I'm going to do everything in slow motion so you can see exactly how it's done. You don't understand. He's amazing. Okay. Stopping to give commentary because fair use rights and laws, uh, of course. But uh, this is Di Vernon, uh, loving the bow tie, by the way. Uh, just, a, just a legend. So he's setting up the classic sleight of hand effect here of the cups and balls. He is now got the balls sitting on top of the sterling cups, and he has a magic wand. A this man is seventy-eight years old. This is ball number one. Ball number two. Ball number Can you believe that? It's amazing. He puts the balls back underneath the cup. I love that angle that he's taking here of, and this is something that's classic to what makes Di Vernon just so incredible, is he um, really dispelled this belief that you have to be fast with your hands. People use quick hands, uh, if hand is faster than the eye, all of that kind of um, belief. And he showed that the true nature of magic isn't that it's about just being fast and quick. It's about the ability to understand human psychology and to understand how the mind works and how they visually process data. He's able to do these slights in, as you're seeing, slow motion here. This isn't fast hands. This is him utilizing his abilities in a of, of psychological control, really, to create the illusion perfectly. It's incredible. Now, of course, if you'd asked me to place it on the other side, I'd have had to do it left-handed. You have to be ambidextrous. Well, if you're left-handed, you have to be successful, obviously. Just to do this, you see, it would leave there and come over there. Now, I'll explain this a moment later. Now, I'm going to show you how the ball will penetrate the cups very, very slowly. I'm going to do this very slowly. Now, watch this as close as you can. Put the last ball here. You see, they all collect. Boom! Russian. Now, this, I want to show you how it will penetrate two cups at once. You see that? Goes through two at once. The cups are porous. That one fell off. Now, I'll, I'll, the last ball. I don't want you to think it's already there. There are just two balls and two cups. Watch the last one. Oh, you see all three balls. It's incredible. <laughs> He's incredible. What a legend. What a legend. No, Naz, readings are coming up right after this, bud. Leaving one ball under the center cup. But you see, this ball has returned. Now, the reason for that is very simple. I swindle you. See, I pretend to take it in this hand. That's called misdirection. Magicians call that misdirection. See, I only pretend to put it in my pocket. I bring it down with my little finger with the pinky, drop it behind the cup, and it seems not really there at all. It's behind the cup. But if I actually put it in my pocket, how many under the cup, young lady? How many do you think? That's close. Three. That's right. Three balls. Three balls. One, two, three. Now, if I put all three away, and there's still a ball under the center cup, I must use four. Well, I'm an honest magician. I do use a fourth. We are currently watching one of the greatest magicians in the world finish up his trick. When you see there's the fourth one. It's a little larger than the others, and there's one here. 
Look at that. Fruit. <laughs> you summon fruit, apples, oranges. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. That is the legendary Divernit. If you guys are now ready to do the magic trick, we are going to uh, be starting that for you guys right now at home. You're able to do this at home yourself. You're gonna need five or nine cards, nine playing cards. Any playing cards will do except the jokers. Do not get a joker, it will not work with the joker. Uh, once you have nine playing cards, you're going to actually have this effect work for you at home. Alexandria is gonna be doing it along with me here. And we're going to uh, shuffle the cards as much as you like. It doesn't matter, you can mix them up. And we're gonna follow the instructions right now. So to take part, all you need is nine cards. And what you're gonna do is at home, spread through the cards. See any card that you're drawn to. And then, Alex, say it in your mind, but at home, you can say it out loud. You're going to say the name of the card. Now, this is because, uh, as we discussed in Plato's book of Cratulus, we discussed that philosophically, um, the name of something actually has deep and profound power. It's very important when we name something and when we say it, it becomes real. And that's the, the spell of the Cratulus. And so when you say the name of your card, you have now, in a way, imbued it with meaning. And so what you want to do is you've seen the card you want, take it out and place it on the top of the deck. So, for example, if I had chose the Queen of Spades, I would put it right here on top of the deck, just like so. Right here, it's the Queen of Spades right on the top. Now, what you're going to do is hold the deck out, and you're going to count down the name of the card for each letter. So you would go Q, U, E, E, N. That's Queen. And then I'm going to place the rest of the cards on top of that pile. You can do that for yourself at home now. Now every playing card has a middle name. Do you know what that is? No. Of. 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 So we're going to do the of. That's O, F. Same way we're going to place those down on the table. And we're going to place the rest of the cards on top of those. Finally, we have the last name of the card. And mine is spades. So I'm going to put that down. That's S. P, A, D, E, S. And then I'm going to put the rest of the cards right on top. Now, if you're following along at home, you have looked at a card, you have memorized that card, and placed it on the top of the deck. You have then spelt the name of your card, not mine, the name of your card, put the cards on top. You've then spelt the middle name of your card, of, and put the cards on top. And you've spelt the last name of your card and put the cards on top. You should now have a pile of cards sitting in front of you. Place your finger on top of the pile and say the name of the card out loud once more. Queen of Spades. Turn your card over and take a look at the card. Is that your card? That is. Awesome. All right. So that is the effect for you guys here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That is the Cratulus Plato philosophy at its finest if you if i do say so myself i hope you guys enjoyed that particular effect and uh enjoyed the magic show here today mm -hmm.